Well, good evening, everyone. Oh, that went very loud. I will turn that down. There we go. <clears throat> Hope you've had a good day um, and that you're, it, you've enjoyed the sunshine and the, the weather. It's been really hot today, hasn't it? My windows are open, so we might get a bit more noise than normal. Uh, today, our psalm is Psalm 39. Uh, we're going to be looking back at Exodus uh, chapter 11, which we looked at uh, a couple of days ago, and then Ephesians chapter 2, verses 11 to 18. And so if you've got a Bible, why not uh, get your Bible ready uh, whilst we have a moment of silence uh, before we pray together. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. As we behold your Son enthroned on the cross, stir up, us, stir up in us the fire of your love that we may be cleansed from all our sins and walk with you in the newness of life, singing the praise of him who died for us and for our salvation. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be good, holy and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and to set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 39 I said, I will keep watch over my ways, so that I offend not with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a muzzle, whilst the wicked are in my sight. So I hid my tongue and said nothing. I kept silent, but to no avail. My distress increased, my heart grew hot within me. While I mused, the fire was kindled, and I spoke out with, a, with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days that I may know how short my time is. You have made my days but a hand's breath, and my lifetime is as nothing in your sight. Truly, even those who stand upright are but a breath. We walk about the shadow, and in vain we are, no, we are in turmoil. We heap up riches and cannot tell who will gather them. And now, what is my hope? Truly, my hope is even in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions, and do not make me the taunt of the, of the fool. I fell silent and did not open my mouth, for surely it was your doing. Take away your pledge from me, and I am consumed by the blows of your hand. With, the rebu with rebukes for sin you punish us, like a moth you consume our beauty. Truly, everyone is but a breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. For I am but a stranger with you, a wayfarer as my fellow as my forebears were. Turn your gaze from me, that I may be glad again before I go my way and am no more. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. 
Amen. Exodus chapter 11. The plague of the firstborn. Now the Lord said to Moses, I will bring one more plague on, the, on Pharaoh and on Egypt. After that, he will let you go from here. And when he does, he will drive you out completely and tell the people that men and women, are, women alike are to ask their neighbours for articles of silver and gold. The Lord made the, Egyptian for, the Egyptians favourably disposed towards the people, and Moses himself highly regarded in Egypt by Pharaoh's officials and by the people. So Moses said, This is what the Lord says, About midnight I will go through Egypt. Every firstborn son in Egypt will die. From the firstborn son in Pharaoh who sits on the throne to the firstborn son of the slave girl who is at her hand mill. And all the firstborn of the cattle as well. There will be loud wailing throughout Egypt. Worse than there has ever been or ever will be again. But among the Israelites, not a dog will bark at any manner or at any manner or animal, at any man or animal. Then you will know that the Lord makes the distinction between Egypt and Israel. All these all the all those officials of yours will come to me, bowing down before me, and saying, Go, you and all the people who follow you. After that I will leave. Then Moses, hot with anger, left Pharaoh. The Lord had said to Moses, Pharaoh will refuse to listen to you, so that, not, so that my wonders may be multiplied in Egypt. Moses and Aaron performed all these wonders before Pharaoh. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let the Israelites go out of his country. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 11 to 18. Therefore, Remember that formerly you who are Gentiles by birth and called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcised, that done in the body by the hands of men, remember that at that time you were separated from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners to the covenant of the promise without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were, who were far away have been brought near through the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made the two one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing in his flesh the law with its commandments and regulations. His purpose was to create in himself one new man out of the two, thus making peace, and in this one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put, he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away, and peace to those who were not near, who were near, sorry. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. 
Christ committed no sin and no sin was found on his lips. So we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. By his wounds, you have been healed. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Song of Praise from Revelation. You are worthy, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let's turn to prayer. Father God, we thank you for all that we've been able to do this day, for the Son which, again, you have granted to us and given us so that we can enjoy our gardens and have our daily exercise outside and uh, be able to enjoy the beauty of your creation. And Lord, as we think of your creation, we think of what Paul says in uh, Romans, that's how your creation since the very beginning has spoken of you. And so, Father, we pray that this will uh, be true today as it was yesterday and many days and throughout all of time. And that people will come to know you through your creation. That people will know that you are the creator God and will want to know more about who you are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we think of those who we know who are sick. We especially pray for Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, who reports have been said that he's doing better, but still is sick. And we just spend a moment in silence to think of those who we know personally. Father, we also think of Nikki, uh, Jill's friend. We thank you that she's improved and that she's moved from the COVID ICU to the normal ICU. We thank you that uh, she's doing better. And we pray that Lord uh, will hear more positive news about her in the days ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we pray for us as a church as we seek to connect with each other more and more. And we thank you for the technology we have. And uh, we pray that you'll help us to think through how we can do that and how we can serve each other as a community as well as reaching out to our, our neighbours and friends. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, Grant that we may follow the example of his present patience and humility and also being made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God, now and forever. Amen. And so standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Well, enjoy uh, the weather outside. Why not have tea outside if you can or uh, have, a, have a drink of something cold? It's quite warm out there. Um, and then uh, over the next few days, I'm, I'm trying to sort out some technology so those who are a part of our church can uh, meet together in over the Internet as a, as a whole group. Um, so let's try and do that over the next few days. I'll send out a link to a small group first to try and get it to work and then wider after that. God bless. Have a good evening.